The 30 inch Apple Cinema Display. I've wanted this thing since I was a kid. I found this on Facebook Marketplace for like 40 bucks broken. I thought, you know what, let's try and fix it. So got a computer here all hooked up. And the problem I have with it, it's in perfect condition too. This is basically from the original owner. So the power light does not come on until it detects a signal through the uh, DVI cable. So as you can see, it uh, no matter how many times it uh, I push the power button, it does not light up. And I have a theory of what I think is happening. And so we're gonna take it apart and kind of uh, play with it. I got this board from 20 bucks off eBay, untested, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna fix it all. So let's get it disassembled. Okay, just a side note, there's uh, <laughs> you're seeing my Christmas lights. But um, so other videos that'll do a better job of taking this apart, but this is a little spludger for an app, iPhone glass repair. It's very easy to fix this, to be honest. You just kind of jab this in there and just kind of slowly pry out, but be very careful because you got the where you got the connectors on the bottom other side. Okay, so you got three boards on the on the uh, screen, the main logic board that does everything, the um, without the connections and all. The inverter board for backlight, the timing controller board that drives the LCD panel. Uh, it ended up being this. I'm I'm pissed because I thought it was this because you know there was no backlight or or picture. Uh, then I I swapped that. No luck. And yeah, so I'm I'm gonna try and resell the other parts uh, real quick. And uh, but yeah, it works. Um, the annoying thing I, I also didn't want to replace this because there's a lot of things to remove but if you remove this screw and this screw uh you can kind of slide this up just enough and you unscrew all that so you can slide it up just enough to remove this uh panel and then you can unhook everything and yeah this was probably the hardest part to remove and i was scared of breaking it but anyway uh it's replaced it wasn't the exact same part number so but honestly it was just good as it was as good as it was going to get and the thing was like 20 bucks. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Um, I really wish there was a forum that told me it was this. I didn't want to replace Like, I, I, I couldn't even find that for some reason. But yeah, we did it. I finally listened and I bought it. And uh, yeah, we're going to assemble real quick. I really, really hate that they uh, they built it this way. You literally have to slide it in. And uh, you just, you just, you're scared, you know? You just feel like you just scraped it or destroyed it. So yeah, we're gonna close it in. Okay, so you'll notice that the screen's puffed up. You know, I don't even know what to say, except this is supposed to latch on with all the hooks. And as it goes back, it straightens it out. Give me a second. Yeah, I can't really show it one-handed. Well, not perfect on this side. But uh, for the most part, it's good. And I lost the screws for screwing these back. They're actually supposed to be flathead, but it's fine. I'm gonna use double-sided tapes for the side pieces, so uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly level. And I'm just using some random computer case screws. I think these are for like small drives or SSDs. I don't remember. Okay, so putting them back on, you can see the old adhesive is, is gone, so. I'm just using your traditional 3M double-sided tape. You cannot go wrong with this stuff. It's cool, you got the little cutouts for the screws. Um, like I said, the original screws were flat, um, but I don't really care at this point, because this is gonna make it thicker. So, yeah. Um, I didn't put it on here, because this is where the touch controls are, and you risk putting strain on these. So, again, it's not gonna be perfect. I don't care if it pops out a bit. Um, the rest of the screen is just in pristine condition, and I'm excited. So running Mac OS Tiger, you can see the buttons on the side give you live feedback. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the right graphics card, so it's only it's only operating at half the res as, as it should. But the cool thing is that it's about the same height as my 38-inch uh, ultra wide. So that's kind of it's it's. I mean, but look at it. It's massive. And to think it's the same height as that, yet the bezels and the whole thing just makes it look huge. This thing is beautiful. It's freaking amazing. Um, 
check back. I'm going to do a, uh, a, uh, a montage of what operating systems look on this thing. Uh, cool thing about the touch thing, so you've got the, first off, it's instant on and off. I mean, that's just insane. And, uh, yeah, you just hold the button down. There's no feedback. You just kind of see it starting to dim a bit. It's really weird, and it's it's weird also not having built-in speakers. But it's kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think. Questions down below.